channel the vanity culture i hope you guys are doing really well so as you know from the title today i'll be doing a one brand tutorial of miss claire so uh, miss claire has been recently launched on nika and i was so excited to buy all the products because it's the most affordable brand also you can buy uh, the miss claire products from your nearby local cosmetic shops also because on nika uh, the prices are a little bit higher than the uh, prices from the local store though the quality of both uh, from the nika and the local store are the same so you need not to worry about that and i know it's been a while that i sat down and do a makeup tutorial for you guys so yes without any further ado let's get into the video so i have already moisturized my face and applied lip balm so starting off with the primer and i'm using this one by miss clay studio perfect it's called professional makeup primer anti redness and this is how it looks like It feels like very silicone. It has a very silicone like texture. Applying on my T zone area and wherever I have large pores. it feels very smooth it's not thick it's not thin it's i don't know it's a very silicone liquidy texture sort of let's see how it works now let's move on to the foundation and uh, this one is miss clay prestige cover foundation I haven't opened the packaging yet. I got the shade brown beige. I hope that matches my skin tone. I don't really know. It is 20 g of product and uh, I hope that's not dark. That is how it looks like. I hope that's not dark for my skin. I'm not really sure. I'll just apply with my fingers first. It's a waxy sort of. It has a waxy sort of texture. I don't really know. Okay. it definitely has pink undertones i just blend it out with my pack beauty blender blending this foundation was a task really i i don't think so i like this foundation it takes a lot of time to blend it out and also the texture is something which i don't really like i don't really use these types of texture but i really wanted to try it out so and thank god i didn't order uh, their concealer because i don't know that how that turned out to be this is i don't really like but uh, let's just use this uh, under my eyes as a concealer it definitely soaks up lots of product i don't know why this is happening is not blending out 
very nicely as you can see it has soaked up a lot of product i don't know why this has happened so if so if you want to blend out any foundation concealers or anything i always use my pack beauty blender but as you can see it has soaked up a lot of product i don't know why this has never happened with any other foundation or concealers and this definitely takes a lot of time to blend so i don't really like the finish of the foundation it's slightly sticky as well but we need to work out for now so let's move on to the next product which is miss clear shape your face contouring palette and that is how it looks like i've still I haven't opened the packaging yet let's see how this works so it has three shades one is this banana powder then the contouring and the blush shade and let's see how it works i just want to set my under eyes first because i so i definitely think that it will crease down and i want to use this banana powder so let's see how it works I think now it's looking a little bit better. Now I'm taking the contouring shade. Okay. Okay. That is pigmented. Now this is a very warm undertone uh, contouring shade and it's definitely very pigmented now i'm using the blush from the same palette Now this is a very nice rosy pink tone sort of a color. I really like it. It's definitely pigmented. So if you can see I have applied a really little bit of uh, my blush and it's a very nice rose tone blush. I really like it. I didn't have anything of that sort yet and definitely this palette works. If you want to order go for it. Like I really like this one. it actually help my foundation to settle down with the banana powder so yeah so the next thing is uh, fixing spray and i'll be using this miss clare dew finish long lasting setting spray for fixing makeup so yeah let's see how it is Now for the eyes I'm using this palette uh it's called eyeshadow and blusher kit and oh my god these colors look really beautiful and I don't know how pigmented they are but see can you see the shades I really like this palette as of now uh, i don't know how their color pay off and everything is so i don't have any particular thing in my mind that how i want to do my eyes but let's just see let's just go with the flow i'll start with the center shade it's a brown shimmer shade because i don't have any transition shade in this so we'll have to work out with this let's just zoom you guys in Now I'm applying this blue dark blue matte shade just applying in the outer corner and let's see how this works
now i'll just take a little bit of that foundation and cut my crease let's see how it goes because i've never done that Now I'll apply this uh, golden shade right here. It's a copper goldenish color. These eyeshadows are buttery soft. not bad i really like it how it turned out that is how the eyes looks like first attempt to cut crease so don't judge me guys <laughs> but uh, i really like it how this turned out it looks like a smoky goldenish glittery eyes so yeah let's move on now for my eyes i'm using this miss claire one stroke kajal and it's a super black it's waterproof smudge proof 12 hour stay and it retails for rupees 145 only let's see how dark and intense it is it is definitely not the smoothest like buttery finish kajal but i think it we can work it out it's not that bad i'll just take the same brush uh, with the blue color and just smudge it out i'm not take up uh, i'm not taking extra uh, color just whatever is left on the brush just smoking it out now for my highlighter I am really excited because this is the most talked about product of the Miss Claire and that's the shimmer brick and let's just open it I haven't opened checked it out yet that is how it looks like just swirling it around why these products have a lot of fallout But it does look nice. Nice. I like it. It's not the perfect highlighter shade. Like it has all the rose tones and coral tones. Uh, so yeah, it's not the perfect highlighter shade. But days when you don't want to use blush and just directly so just directly apply this it will work as a blush and a highlighter so it gives a little bit of shine as you can see here but it has color also so i've already applied blush so i think it's going too much here let's now let's move on to the lips so i have two shades like this one i already have this is called Miss Claire Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade 58 and this uh, I ordered because I wanted to try out something new from this range. This is called Miss Claire Long Lasting Matte Lipstick in the shade Dark Pink. So let's see and apply, see how it looks. definitely buttery soft so yeah that's how my makeup turned out and i like it it's okay but not very impressed with the foundation the rest all the products are really nice and i really like how it all turned out so yeah that was it for today's video and i hope that you really like this video and if you want me to do uh, more such types of video like one brand tutorial videos then do let me know in the comment section below i would love to do that for you guys 
Also, if you like this video, give this video a big, big, big thumbs up. It will really mean a lot to me. And definitely don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that bell notification right next to it so that you will get notified whenever I upload my videos. So yeah, that's all for today's video and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, bye!